Sup everybody, it's Roger Del Martin. Welcome to my video podcast, Crank It! Woo! Fantastic song. Uh, it's one of my favorites because I actually get to start the song by myself, bass intro. So it's way, way cool. So it's one of my favorites. Okay? We're going to be looking at that. The song Burn is, is, is really advanced. I mean, I could go all day uh, talking about how to play this song. Uh, there's a really cool part. There, there's a, a groove part. There's a really, really fast part. And then there's a slow kind of groove part. We're going to be looking at the intro, and, and we're going to try to make a groove out of that. Um, and once again, we're in the key of E. Uh, almost all Western music is based on the uh, major scale, and we're in the key of E, and so here's the E major scale. It's just like you learn in school. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Well, that's way too happy for us, okay? Can't use it. We're going to use the Frisian mode of that scale, which sounds like this. Okay, that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the first three notes, E, F, G, and we're going to back down and we're going to grab this D. So there's four notes, D, E, F, G. Four notes on how we're going to do this. Um, and uh, this is an intro where the guy said, Roger, we need you to do something for us. I said, what? They said, well, you need to make this smooth. I said, make what smooth? I said, the intro to burn. I said, what? I said, yes, make it smooth. I'm like, all right, give me a couple of days. And so the first thing I did was I started fasting and I started praying. And I said, Lord, how in the heck am I going to make such a jerky rhythm smooth and make a groove out of it? So... I started thinking about eighth notes. I started thinking about screen, uh, a string skipping technique. Um, so, how can we do this? Right, right off the bat, uh, this song is about 126 beats per minute. We're going to turn it on. 4-4 four, four timing. 4 beats per measure. And quarter note gets one beat. One, two, three. Three, four. Here's the intro. Here's the lick. Burn. So I got my work cut out for me. You know, it's so jerky. So let's let's throw some eighth notes. Okay, remember eighth notes? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. How can I do that? I want to play eighth notes and accent those notes that are actually the E, F, and the G. I want to accent them, but throw the eighth notes in and see if we can somehow make this smooth. Let's try it. done. Okay, now, in the beginning, let me turn this off. Okay, right here. I don't want to start this thing full blast. You know, I want to just kind of ease everybody into it. Okay, and the guys on the guitar, it's like, I love this because I'm like, <clears throat> I'm kind of like head of on this one. Because <laughs> they have to follow my lead. Anyway, I'm starting it off. And I don't want to start it blazing, but I want to set up the groove. I want to use what's called a palm muting technique. We're going to use the palm, going to lay it across the strings, and we're going to give it a percussive sound. 
like that. And the guys, they hit their E chord and they turn it up and you'll hear this swell from the guitars like wow, like that. Well, up. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. And then I really let loose. The band comes in, and I forget the palm muting, and we're doing it like this. Come on, 126. And once the song's going, we're cranking. intro to burn. All right. I'm glad you guys learned to play that today. Stop. All right, let's talk about the spiritual aspect of the song burn. This one is, is um, this is very difficult concept because it, go, it goes against our human nature. Uh, the whole course and the whole point of this song is we're all shouting burn Satan, burn. Burn, Satan, burn. Because um, human beings are like sheep. <sighs> There's a verse in the song that says, The separation's coming, the sheep from the goats. There are only two sides, no in betweeners, hope. Okay, there's an old jazz song that, that, that uh, is very popular, it's been redone several times. Um, but it goes like this, is you is, or is you ain't, my baby. Okay, is you is, or is you ain't, my baby. Okay, you either are or you're not. You're either for or you're against. That's what the Bible says about us. Separation's coming. It's like the day of judgment. God's going to separate us like the sheep from the goats. On his left are the goats. On his right are sheep, which is us. I want to be on the right. We're on the winning team. Believe me, folks. We're on the winning team. But the song's about how Satan has blinded the minds of unbelievers. Um, one of the things that, that boggles my mind when Jesus was on the cross and was going through all this suffering, he looked up to God and he said, God, he said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. And Jesus completely understood that concept. Satan has blinded those guys so they were doing the most horrible thing imaginable is crucifying him. And a lot of times we'll look at the United States and we'll look at people and we'll go, that's horrible, how could they possibly do that? Well, Satan has taken control of their lives. Uh, that's, that's the bottom line and they don't understand it, they don't even know because they're spiritually discerned. One of the lines of the song is, as it is, and this is what we do, and we're going to deal with it as it is today. <clears throat> we struggle not, our fight is not against flesh and blood. It's against spiritual things. It's a bit Satan. We're on God's side. God is the winner, believe me. Revelation tells us that. We win, we win, we flipping win, Okay. So everything we got to do to be on, on God, what he's got going on, okay? It's our gig to get with his agenda, whatever he wants to do. If we get with it, we're in good shape, okay? And that, that's what we're called to do. We're not called to kill people, <clears throat> although sometimes we want to. We're called to enlighten people. We're called to spread the gospel. And that's what I'm here for. That's what you guys are here for. Look. I love you with a passion. I'm going to ask one thing to you guys, okay? And that's it. I want you to go to my website. You see this? Go to my website. You can get this. Hang out with me. Say what's up. And I will see you guys next time on Roger Del Martin's podcast, Crank It. And we'll see you then. Boom. Boom.